It's a Rubik's Cube. It is very observant. It's almost like you bought it for me, isn't it? Almost, do you yeah. Re do you regret it yet? No. That's good. Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Dane. This is a Rubik's Cube. This is a solved Rubik's Cube. Who solved this Rubik's Cube? The internet. Oh, okay. So um, we're going to do a video today where I'm going to see how quickly I can solve a Rubik's Cube. This was the first time I solved it. Following algorithms, yes, you have to follow algorithms. She, she thinks it's cheating. <laughs> it's the only way to do it. Okay, so what I would like you to do today is to take this Rubik's Cube, to smush it all up. I can cover my eyes if you like. There we go. I'll do this bit like this. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really matter because it's not as though I'm going to memorise the moves that you did. No. And I'd like you guys to appreciate that I got him this as a Christmas present and it became his mild obsession between Christmas and New Year's and he managed to get it done on New Year's Eve because that was when he finally gave up gave up and looked it up but there was some insanity in the meantime I'm trying to make sure I, there's only one thing I, I did actually look it up before that I just couldn't understand the notation ah, fair. but then I found an animated guide and now I've got my own version of it so the plan is you're gonna mess that up and then we're gonna go sit down and put death to 2020 on and yes. I'm gonna try and solve it with a little timer on and a time lapse yes and I am messing it up so much I'm starting to fix it again so you better take it off me there okay. you go Thank you very much. Uh, so we're going to go and do that, and I'm going to film a quick outro. Do you want to be in it for the outro? If you like, yeah. Okay, it's several days later. As you can see, I have finally solved the Rubik's Cube. I had some problems where the top layers um, weren't aligning because basically as you go, you, or at least the beginner's method, the one I follow, you start by forming uh, the white cross and you have to get the edges lined up there. And for some reason I kept having them the wrong way round. And the guide that I was using assumed that this bit was so easy that it didn't bother to provide you with algorithms to like swap them around. So I'd get a white cross, but just not with the right pieces in the right places. Because um, it's very much about that. You've got to make sure that, you know, when you put one piece in place, it has to be, you know, it has to have the sides out correctly and stuff. But yeah, this final attempt, 15 minutes. That's kind of how long I would hope it would normally take me to solve one of these bad boys if I continue to continue my study which I probably will do so the next step for me would be to memorize the algorithms so that I don't have to look them up when I'm doing it. <laughs> Rubik's Cube done. 
So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you're able to do a Rubik's Cube and if so, whether you can beat my time. I assume you can. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.